is the kind of support, apart from a very, very keen mum who's prepared to go along with him, but is the support that's available to youngsters, and Aidan and Tom were talking about lottery funding, obviously, and all sorts of stuff like that, is there a different era now for potential stars, youngsters, uh, boys and girls, than there was when you were beginning the sport and going into it? Oh, absolutely. And the biggest factor, without doubt, is lottery. Um, in 1996, which was the Olympic Games in Atlanta, I think we were 36th on the medal table and we had one gold medal, which was in the pairs um, with Steve and Matt. And I think that was when we decided we actually had to do something to support our athletes properly because we really had no options other than to go on the dole or go to university in America as an Olympian. So all my training money came out of my parents' pocket, which still happens a lot. You know, obviously youngsters still are paid by mum and dad in the early days. You've got to get to a particular high standard before lottery comes in. But it does mean that we can have full-time professional athletes. And as we've seen over the last few years, I mean, London was incredible. Second on the medal table, sitting from when they went to this last Tokyo Games, they were able to train in Loughborough, Bath, Swansea and Stirling. So those were our, our centres of excellence during COVID, which kept our elite athletes going. Um, sadly, we are struggling right now with pools. We've lost 20% of pools. So you know, we've got some issues that are coming our way because of COVID. And if we carry on the rate we're going at the moment, we're going to lose 2,000 pools by the end of this decade, which is going to be a massive problem. Interestingly, there's also an article in one of the Sunday papers today about local athletics clubs as well. That you know, the big, the headline money is there and it's all doing grand, but but that that needs yeah. to be um, uh, borne in mind as well. Uh, the final question: to, to to keep it popular and, as it were, to expand the range of options for young folk. Um, in your own discipline, of course, one of the highlights for many people at, at the Olympics was the idea of having uh, the relay race that was uh, top men and top women together. Yeah. We, had that, we had that in the triathlon. We are absolutely clinically opposed to doing stuff like that because it's the wokey thing to do. But, my God, it yielded some brilliant sport. Oh, I don't know that we're opposed to it in sport. I mean, we have no problem with swimming. We absolutely love it. Um, you know, so you're having two males and two females. And it's really interesting to show, you know, the difference between a male athlete and a female athlete. At Olympic level, it, it ranges between 10% and 31%, depending. Weightlifting is at the, the extreme. Middle distance running is, is at the bottom. But it's still a vast difference. So it makes it a very, very exciting race, whether they're being chased or whether they're chasing. Um, so I have no problem with that. You know, we actually... We hold the world record in that event in the swimming pool, so fantastic yeah. for Great Britain. Yeah, absolutely. Deep down, final quick question. The most important thing this morning, I'm guessing, for you was just a proud mum looking at a clever son. Uh, well, and I have, I have two others as well. So my eldest <laughs> played rugby too, and my daughter did track and field for England at Heptathlon until she got an injury that just wouldn't go away. So sport was always played you know, a big part in our life. Sport is really important and fitness and health is really important for our children. Obesity rates have been rising year on year. It's incredibly important for their mental health as well as their physical health that we get them active. And if we have wonderful role models that are successful in high level elite sport, then youngsters get inspired and they get involved. And whether they go on to dizzy heights is one thing, but hopefully they will pick up skills that they will enjoy for the rest of their lives.